Hello family, welcome back to our devotion time. Today is February 16th and our devotion is titled, I Am Yours, from Ephesians 1, 5 through 6. He predestined us for adoption to sonship through Jesus Christ, in accordance with his pleasure and will, to the praise of his glorious grace which he has freely given us in the one he loves. No matter what life gives to you or what it takes from you, one thing is sure, you are a child of God, and nothing can change that truth. He paid a high price for your soul. Whether you feel worthy of his love or not, you're wrapped up in it. He is a good father. He delights in being kind to you. He inhabits your praise, and he enjoys your prayers. There is so much power in understanding your identity as a child of God. As you dwell on the goodness of God today, remember that his heart is for you. There is no good thing in him that has not been extended to you through his son. Wow, what a promise. I mean, when you really stop and focus on the vastness of what we have received in Christ, it is, it far surpasses my imagination. I don't know about you guys, but when you really stop and take in those scriptures and realize that God has already given us all the things we need in Christ. That it's all ours already. That we were predestined to be adopted through him. And it's his pleasure and will to give us all things. That's amazing. He gives us all things. What does that word in the Greek mean? All. It means all. <laughs> Everything. He gave you everything you already have need of. It lives and dwells inside of you. And how do you access it? By acknowledging that you're his. I have to do the same thing. I think we get stuck thinking we're not worthy or thinking we failed again. We failed again. We failed again. Oh, no, I did it again. I did it again. He's not surprised. It's not like he's surprised by the fact that you failed again. He knows your personality. He knows my personality. He knows what we're going to do and how we're going to say it or not say it or think it or not think it. He knows us inside and out. And he says, you are called. I love you. I called you friend. I died for you. I gave you my life for yours. He's amazing. And we have all the promises that he gave Jesus. Our Father, he gave it to us when we accepted Christ. Wow. I, it just makes me stop and say, you know, wow. I, I have to learn to walk in this. Honestly, m me, Tara, not just you. I'm, I'm preaching to this choir right now. <laughs> because I get up every day and I feel unworthy in some way. Something happens or I have certain thoughts or I don't do it just right. And I think, oh, Lord, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Like he didn't know I was going to get up and, you know, not read my Bible right away. Or he didn't like he didn't know I was going to get up and not pray right away. Um, do you see what I'm saying? I mean, I, I put myself through the ringer. And I know that you guys do, too, because you've told me enough about yourselves now that I know you're right there in this this place with me so let's just today let's be encouraged that we belong to a god who delights in being kind to us that he is for us not against us that his heart is toward us that his face is smiling and shining upon us you know and that there is no good thing in him that he won't extend to us through his son jesus praise the lord praise the lord i love you lord so much thank you let's pray Thank you, Father God, for being a good father to us. Thank you that I'm one of yours, that I'm your child. Nothing can change that. Help us not to doubt your love, but to instead walk in the power of knowing who we are in you. Help us to know who we are in you, Father. We are the righteousness of God through Christ Jesus. You are already righteous. I am already righteous. We thank you, Father, for it now in your name, Lord. In your beautiful, precious name, Lord Jesus. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you, Father. I praise you, Lord. Just just give him praise and glory and thank him. And, and find your identity in 
the righteousness of God through Christ. Study that word righteous. Find out what that means. That word means right standing with God. You are in right standing with God. You are his righteousness. You are his right standing. I love you. God bless you. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you again for being with me today. Bye-bye.